Hey, hey there everybody, how you doing? It's me, your boy Captain Waddles here, out at the sea again. This time, we're out of the sea to get levels. I found this pretty useful, uh, like, trick for getting levels. I get myself up to level 29, then I go into the water and take out the squid. Squid actually seem to pretty much consistently drop a decent amount of experience, and that's what's been getting me up to the magic enchanting level. Squid, sorry, you have to go, okay, okay, oh wait, get back here. Yeah, you have to be quick or the squid gets away. And then drown too sometimes? Oh boy, drown, drop even more experience than squid? Basically, I'm in experience seven right now. This is some pretty crazy stuff stuff where'd you go drown come on up here fight me like a true drowned let's go let's go let's go the knockback too is really painful let's go boom level 30 all right now the other reason i wanted to sail all the way out here the shipwreck while i was taking out squid uh, just before i started recording this episode i remembered the shipwreck i'd like to see what kind of loot we have in the shipwreck if we're big lucky we're gonna have big bamboo and knowing this world we have all sevens in this world you already know how it goes we're gonna have bamboo right Right? Oh, no way. <laughs> no, this isn't real. This isn't real. This is not real. This is like literally scripted. Or okay, we have bamboo. We found bamboo in the shipwreck. This is crazy. This is game over. You know what? This is amazing. We need to get on that netherite grind ASAP. Stat yesterday, last episode, because we're going to find it like crazy once we do the luck in this world. It is insane, literally insane. If you're curious about the world seed, check the last episode because I just did a seed reveal. Also, if you were curious about the like button, yes, it is definitely still there and 100%. You should definitely still go down below this video and hit that like button. Thank you very much. Big support, big hype. Today, we're gonna do something that probably a lot of you didn't see coming. So, now that we're level 30, we can actually enchant this diamond pickaxe. We took a peek at it before Fortune 2. Love the looks of that. Oh, okay. Really love the looks of that. Efficiency 4, Fortune 2, Unbreaking 3. That's almost the perfect Fortune pickaxe. If only that was Fortune 3. But hey, I can't complain about that one. That's pretty good. Work pick, I'm sorry. You are still my friend, but you're being retired for today because we're gonna take this pickaxe and actually go down to the mines. I think currently we have eight diamonds total. I I'd like to get maybe like half a stack of diamonds in our reserve so we can actually make the jump to diamond armor. Okay, we have five. Even worse. We need to make the jump to diamond armor, basically, so I can get netherite armor. We went into the nether last episode, and I've got that itch for netherite for sure. So today is actually going to be a caving and mining episode. So real quick, let's run over the supplies. I pretty much have everything, but I would like to get a little bit more wood from the reserves over here, and then we're going to actually go off and find a new cave. So, uh, usually I recommend finishing the caves that you have caved out, like cave them out all the way, go mining, finish the mining trip. Uh, but, uh, also at the same time, I've caved a lot inside of that cave, and there's the branch mine, which we might hit up later in the episode, but... Yeah, basically, I want to find a new cave and check it out and see how it goes and, you know, something new, exciting, interesting. So we're just going to kind of abandon the old cave and maybe we'll come back to it later, hopefully. I'm not too sure. I'm not too concerned about it. Usually, I try and light up all of the caves in an area because I want to build a big mob farm in a certain area. But we're not really going to build a giant mob farm over here. Eventually, we're going to kind of ditch this area. Sorry, this area. So uh, if all of the caves don't get lit up, it is what it is. It's cool. Now, new cape. Do I have any leads? Well, I have this lead right here, but I'm pretty sure this connects right over to the cave that we've been in. The other lead that I have on a cave system is over back this way, by that starter cave, you know, where we had the creeper incident right off the bat. But I think, I want to say that that was an entirely just dead-ended, done cave. Let's go check it out, just to be sure. I can't remember for sure. But I think it's a finished cave. So, into the cave we go. Is it finished? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, a, it's all coming back to me now. Way too soon, right there. Yep, we're not even gonna go. It's finished. I remember that. Okay, well, backtrack a little bit. And now, I guess we go inland. I definitely don't want to hit a water cave. If I hit one of those underwater caves, I'm just gonna have a big headache. I don't really like caving out those caves, even though I have gotten really, really lucky before with the diamonds in those caves. They're, they're actually not upped in spawn rate, right, though. They're just like... Like, I don't know. The luck is crazy there. This is not a cave. That's fake. Fake. All right. So over the hill we go, I guess, and into this plains biome, which I can't remember if we've been to. Now, I do see some caves on the mountain over there. That's pretty interesting. We could go over there if we don't have any luck. But what I'm thinking about doing here is kind of just moving around this hill and maybe checking out this plains over here. Maybe 
big maybe. We'll find like a hole in the ground and we'll go into that hole and check it out. Now over here is Spawn's Field. This is where we spawned into the world. And hey, there's pumpkins right there. I didn't even know that. So, yeah, we're right by Spawn, basically. <laughs> Doesn't really mean anything. The Golden Age Diamonds. Entirely diamonds. If we find other things, that's cool. But I only want to see diamonds. I want to see so many diamonds that I don't need to see diamonds again. Now, now that we have Fortune 2, we'll be able to up our diamond rate a little bit. Won't be the best. Is that a cave? Ooh, I think this is a... Oh, it's a cave. Okay, all right. Uh, now that we have Fortune 2, we'll be able to up the diamond drop amount a little bit. Won't be the best, but it'll be a little bit better. So all we really need to do is find a couple decent veins of diamonds. And with those decent veins... We should probably, maybe, have enough diamonds if we're lucky. Now, I probably already had the fortune card pop up on screen a long time A long time ago. A long time ago. I had the fortune card pop up on screen a long time ago. And if you read it, you already know what fortune does. But it multiplies the amount of uh, <laughs> the amount of drops you're going to get when you mine something like uh, like coal and, and diamonds and lapis and redstone and Minecraft spawner. No, wait, Minecraft spawner. This is the happiest moment of this series. What did I say? I keep saying it over and over and over again. This seed is my best Minecraft seed ever. We need to stay call and a mine shaft. Uh, is this going to be the same mine shaft as before? I want a creep don't even try it we're armed with a bow now you you stay away stay away four sh no, four shots right there boom you're gone not good we'll, we'll get a better bow soon oh my gosh this is literally literally the best minecraft world i have ever seen we spammed torches like crazy in here okay oi oi for a reason i spammed them for a reason give me the shovel give me the shovel uh why did we take so much damage that is embarrassing. Okay, so we're off to a really good start. This is an amazing sign. This right here is a Minecraft spawner. This is the first spawner that we've actually found in this world, even though we've been in a mine shaft. Usually, you'll find poisonous spider spawners inside of mine shafts. In the normal Minecraft overworld, you can find a zombie spawner, a skeleton spawner, and spider spawners. They generate randomly around your world. Now, inside of mine shafts, you'll find cave spider spawners, and in the stronghold, you'll find a silverfish spawner. Spawners are OP. These things are amazing. We can turn this spawner into an efficient experience farm, which is probably what we're going to do in the next episode, because with experience, we can enchant over and over and over again. Power one, absolute trash, but very cool. Uh, actually, better than our bow right now with power zero. Wow. I kind of seriously can't believe that this happened. Now, there's some cool loot here. Definitely going to bring this home with me. But because this is so close to the surface, I am actually not going to worry about it right now. It's just going to clog up my inventory. The plan is to go down into the caves and mine, like, a lot. And hopefully fill this inventory up all the way. So we'll just leave all of this here. We'll come back for it later. We have a saddle now, which means we can get a horse, which is pretty sweet. But wow, a spawner. So, long story short, when you find a spawner, light up the area around it. Don't break the spawner. If you mine the spawner out, you'll get experience one time, one time only. Why would you do that if you can make a farm for experience? every single time doesn't make any sense don't let the creeper blow up the spawner if the creeper blows up the spawner it's gone forever just gone once it's broken it's li literally done y you can't pick up a spawner you can't move it or anything where it is is where it is that's amazing we're gonna come back to that we're gonna see more of that definitely 100 in the next episode now, we're looking for diamonds today, which means we want to go down low in our cave system that we're checking out. But I do want to try and sort of light up the caves as well. Uh, hey, oi, 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 don't, don't even try it. Don't even try it. There's two of you. That's rigged. That's rigged. Well, look it. I can shoot so quick, so quick. Fastest shot in the west. Boom. You're gone. Look at that. Two of you gone. Very, very quick. I, I literally am speed. Anyways, we're looking for diamonds, but we're also looking for everything else. I'm armed with fortune now, which means I'm dangerous to coal, redstone, lapis. So I 100% want to start stocking up on those things as well. So we're looking for basically everything, but I'm going to try and fast track myself all the way down to the low parts of this world. Today, by the end of the episode, we need 32 diamonds. If I don't get 32 diamonds, this episode never ends. And if the episode never ends, then it's going to be a really long episode. Uh, to be clear, I am very grateful about that spawner. I love it. It's nice. But at the same time, I have to be honest. I have to be real here. That spawner, the zombie spawner, my second least favorite spawner in all of Minecraft. My favorite one, the skeleton spawner. Hands down, easy. Best spawner in the game. The drops are amazing. Zombie spawner, second best, but also just... It's the, the first loser. The zombie spawner is the first loser. It's fine. I'm going to accept it. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to take it. But uh, it could have been better. <laughs> it could have been better. 
Oi, skeleton with the enchanted bow. With the enchanted bow, you drop the enchanted bow. I want your bow. I want that bow. You, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you for the bow. Now, what's on the bow? Anything good? Power two. Not really. Not really. Uh, I don't really want that. Another skeleton. Okay, oi, back into the darkness. You would do that, chicken. You would do that, coward. It's actually the knockback on the sword, which I really despise. I don't like knockback because it throws enemies away from you. And if they're thrown away from you, then you have to literally chase them to take them out. Which, I guess, is good. In the case of a creeper, creepers are probably something that you don't really want right next to you. But every other mob, yeah, it kind of makes it a chore. Now, it looks like this cave wrapped right around to this mine shaft, which I really, really like. I'm going to make myself an easy exit so we can just walk right down right there. And now, we're going to go into the mine shaft and check it out. This right here might be our first mine shaft loot chest. Maybe, big maybe, we'll get something good. And hey, you want to drop, you want to, yeah, yeah, you want to come on over here? Yeah, you're going to go away. Is there going to be a spider spawner in here? Because there's like a lot of spiders down here. Now, I think we actually... We found a spider, probably, for sure, but we haven't talked about spiders very uh, much in the series. They're interesting. If a normal Minecraft spider, the ones that we just took out, is in darkness, then it's going to be your enemy. But if it's in light, it actually doesn't care about you until you hit it. Kind of uh, interesting. Basically, spiders are kind of like blind in the daylight, but only those type of spiders. Cave spiders, the poisonous ones, yeah, those just hate you whenever, so yeah, you gotta be really, really careful. Now, I wanna backtrack really quick and check out the loot chest. I don't wanna get too distracted with the cave system, so let me get these ores, and then we're gonna check out the loot. Let's check it. Maybe something good. Melon seeds. Ooh, two diamonds. Okay, even better than melon seeds. Forget the melon seeds. I don't really care about them anymore. That's amazing. Okay, so we're right by the entrance. I'm going to backtrack a little bit right over to here and drop all of this random stuff down because we're already filling up, which is big bad. All of this can just wait here. I don't really need to bring it with me, including two diamonds. We'll leave those right there nice and safe. I see the coal. We'll come back for it. I probably... <gasps> no. No way, no way, no, 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 no way, okay, well, you know what, we're gonna take the shears out, and take these cobwebs, and find our way to, uh, the second spawner of the day, the third luckiest thing to happen in this video, maybe fourth, if you wanna count those diamonds, wow, okay, yep, this is good, this is nice, now, the spawner down there, way down there, is a dangerous one, maybe the most dangerous spawner in all of Minecraft, these spawners drop poisonous spiders into your world. They're uh, tiny, fast, and they poison you. Very, very dangerous if you're not prepared. Early on, I honestly recommend avoiding mine shafts until you get some armor. Now, these spiders, they go away pretty quickly if you can hit them. Hey, buddy, uh, we're going to just do that. Usually two shots with a bow, and that bow doesn't even have... Oh, oh, you, you, you stand back. The bow doesn't even have to have, like, good things on them. But yeah, I'm poisoned now, which is dangerous. The poison, I don't think it'll take me out, but it'll take me down to, like, a half heart uh, if I have it for that long. And then, if one thing touches me, I'm gone. If you get poisoned, usually I recommend just waiting it out. But, uh, second spawner, this is crazy. And this one is actually pretty close to that first one. It's probably a little too far to make like a double spawner, but still, really, really cool. Now, down. Down is definitely the way that I want to go. Hey, there's more over here. And, uh, hey, another one. What do we got? Ooh, okay, some cool stuff, including melon seeds. I like it. Thank you. You heard my calls from earlier. Aha, I found sort of a, like a cut through here, and there's a creeper right down there, I think. Yep, that's a creeper. You can go away, buddy. Goodbye. I'm not really interested in you. Thank you. Uh, what do we have here? Just a dead end? Yep, just a dead end. All right. Water in mine shafts is big annoying. I always try and remove the water in the mine shafts. I mean, just in general in the cave systems, I try and remove the water, but mine shafts for sure. It's really, really annoying. Now, uh, I think I've finally lit this whole layer up, so that means we're gonna, okay, we're gonna try and move down like this. We'll make a staircase right here so we can go up and down if we have to go back up and retreat. Enemies, where you at? Come on out here. Come on. I'm just walking around lighting up your whole mine shaft. You're not gonna exist for much longer. Another loot chest. This isn't even surprising at this point. This is just standard policy. A golden apple? Wow. Okay, I'll take a golden apple. All right, but also I won't take this full inventory, so... <laughs> Gotta backtrack. Okay, so we're back in action, but I hear like a million zombies. Now, based off of our luck today, there's probably just realistically going to be another zombie spawner in here, which is gonna be absolutely crazy. But, uh, Enderman, okay. Wait, torches. Oh, you know what? I think I dropped that down. Any other zombie spawner that we find, though, definitely can't beat that other one because that's literally right on the surface and not that far from our current settlement, which is awesome. Ah, the great room. Eh. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, all right. I see you, Minecraft. I see you. I got you. Yep, we'll put a torch right there. We're just gonna not even bother. I think that's a maybe a ravine right there, though. It almost looked like it went into like a bridge or something, which means we definitely need to check that out for sure. Now, while we're checking out the mine shaft, I might as well talk about a couple mine shaft things that we haven't really talked about quite yet. Rails. Rails are everywhere on the ground. If you want to save your pickaxe's durability, uh, just break the rail with your hand. It takes a little bit more time, though. It's totally up to you. Now, also inside of mine shafts, you will find a lot of a. Hey. <laughs> okay, nice done big brains there you go uh-huh nice thank you thank you very much inside of mine shafts there's gonna be a lot of enemies but you're also going to find cobwebs if you jump into a cobweb you're gonna slow down if you want to bring the cobweb home with you dig it out with a pair of shears if you just want string or the cobweb to go away break it with a sword mine shafts are sort of nice to mine in if you're relatively prepared meaning geared up because there's lots and lots of wood inside of here if you run out of wood for some reason well just take it out of the mine shaft and make more torches boom easy Ooh, that's interesting uh flower forest flowers down here are we in the flower yeah we're in the flower forest biome i mean fair enough very cool interesting all right i found a ravine and there's emeralds in the ravine maybe we can use this fortune to get even more emeralds this is amazing okay so you know what i'm sorry mine shaft i'm your friend and all but we're gonna actually abandon you mine shaft after i get this iron right here and go down to the ravine because the ravine is gonna get us way way lower probably yeah for sure maybe at diamond level we're at y30 right now probably 29 on this block which means the bottom of this ravine because it looks relatively deep might be all the way down at diamond level now i just need to make a staircase somehow I'm thinking maybe like right in here this might be a good spot for a staircase i could just go right down dig into the wall a little bit should probably work diamonds you watch out because i'm coming for you i'm coming for you it's over your your existence is diamond ore it's gonna end very very soon because i'm gonna grab you and you're gonna become actual diamonds and then i'm gonna put you in my storage room and then i'm gonna use you as uh like a piece of armor or something cool like that maybe even a tool too depending on how many diamonds i find and it's gonna be over and emeralds you're gonna come with me too i'm gonna bring the emeralds home with me and i'm gonna take them to a villager and trade ah oh, we don't get more than one that's a little bit of a bummer but it's fine diamonds where are you at we're all the way down to diamond level now oh yeah that's exactly what i needed that's perfect there's redstone but it's a ravine you need to be careful in minecraft ravines because there are ledges all over these things now the ledges are spawnable spaces which means that uh, a creeper could spawn up there fall down blow you up would be really really bad tragic actually goodbye lava and hello torch you know what ravine this is this is a ravine that i actually found when branch mining which is convenient see the mine shaft it's good and all but it's not getting me any diamonds and i've been checking out the mine shaft quite a bit uh we have like a lot of things in the inventory and i actually dropped off a whole stack of iron back over at the chest so i'm thinking that i'm gonna go back to the mine shaft if there's no diamonds in here which i don't think there are any unfortunately mine it out a little bit more and then actually just come back over to the branch mine and branch mine the most reliable way to find diamonds each and every time and would you take a look at this this mine shaft actually links back to one of the caves that i was in before because i did not place those torches today so this mine shaft probably gets pretty close to the other mine shaft i guarantee that they're separate mine shafts because we found another dirt center room each mine shaft will only have one of those things but wow two mine shafts right near each other right by a spawn Okay, so I've got a lot of this mine shaft lit up, caved down now. Not all of it, but a lot of it. I think the next plan is to actually try and backtrack to the ravine right here, and then go through the branch mine, back over to the base, drop off all of this stuff in my inventory right here, and then start branch mining. I still want diamonds, and I've been in the caves for quite some time now, and just haven't had any luck, so I'm thinking that probably my best bet is going to be ignoring that skeleton, dodging the shots, and moving back this way, boom, right into the branch mine, and right back home. Then we'll just dig a long tunnel, and hopefully find some diamonds. All right, so here we are back at home. This many blocks of coal, that's a lot. This many blocks of lapis, that's not very much at all. This many blocks of redstone, boom, that's pretty cool. Now, we also have a lot of iron. And when I say a lot, I mean like one stack, two stack, three stacks, and then there's actually a fourth entire stack back over at that spawner. So, so far, pretty good, but it definitely could be better. I'm missing one big blue shiny block. 
Now also, not to waste levels, let's go ahead and do this. Make a new bow, go down here and enchant the new bow if it looks good. Does it look good? Power three. That looks like garbage. Never mind. Never mind. You just put that back, put the sticks over there. No, 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 no. Those can come with me. We're not enchanting that. That would be trash. Okay. Now it's time for me to head down to the mine. Or hold on, hold on. Iron pickaxe. Will we get fortune three? Hey, we get silk touch. Okay, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. That's fine. Silk touch. One new silk touch pickaxe for me. Thank you very much. Now it's time for me to go down to the mines, start mining, and hopefully come back with a lot of diamonds. Elites, I've done some mining off camera. Inside of this chest right here is everything that I found. Like, literally everything. Go down in the comments right now, really quick, and guess how many diamonds do I have. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, that's right. This is the comment of the day book, not the diamonds. You have a little bit more time. Today's comment of the day is an interesting one. It's one that's kind of um, almost read my mind. Waddles, like no T's, both D's. Waddles, can you please make a podcast for your Minecraft guides? Now, podcasts, that's actually really interesting. A part of me has honestly lately been kind of thinking like, hey, wouldn't a podcast be really cool? But honestly, the podcast probably wouldn't be like a Minecraft one or uh, like a Minecraft guide one or anything. I mean, that would be really cool. But honestly, if I were going to do a podcast, it would probably be just like about culture or maybe music. I'm big into music, like huge time. Not 100% sure on that, though. This isn't an announcement, but maybe, Elites, maybe one day there's the Waddles podcast with... Uh, wait for it. Waddles. Now, uh, diamonds. We found uh, some diamonds off camera while I was mining, too. So, I've done some mining off camera, and this right here, boom, is what I found. A lot of iron. A good amount of coal. Thank you very much, Fortune. Lots and lots of lapis, too. Lots of redstone. A little bit of gold. One emerald and 40 diamonds. Count them. Four is zero, which is amazing. Now, these are the two diamonds that I left over at the spawner. I did go ahead and bring everything that I left in that spawner room back over to the base. So, we have the horse armor there, that garbage enchanted book that I should probably honestly just disenchant. Yeah, uh, things went really, really well. Now, um, speaking of disenchanting, there is one more other thing that I'd like to disenchant. This bow right here. I'd like to be good, like I said this time, about not hoarding things that are garbage. Power one, garbage. No point in keeping it. Might as well disenchant it, so boom. There we go. Now, uh, we didn't actually get to it in the enchanting episode, but you can actually enchant books. Books are a great way to kind of roll enchantments over. You see the Sweeping Edge 3 enchantment right there? That's an enchantment that I actually really, really like. But I'm not just going to take it because we have diamonds now, which means I can actually craft some diamond armor, which is what we're going to do right here at the end of the episode really quick. A full set of diamond armor. Boom. Right there out of the reserves. Kind of hurts a little bit down to 18 diamonds, but it's okay. We'll get more. Fire protection three. Protection three. Protection three. Protection three. Okay, so I'm not really in love with any of those. So right here, Sweeping Edge 3 is definitely going to be the move that we're going to make. Sweeping Edge 3 is an amazing sword enchantment. We'll probably, honestly, end up putting that on this sword or building another sword, and we'll put that on it. Now, let's see. Just out of curiosity, Unbreaking 3, Unbreaking 3, Unbreaking 3. Wait for it. Death Strider 3. Okay, sure. I like that. I'll take that. And with that, that is going to be it for Minecraft Guide episode number 11. If you haven't yet, smash that like button. You're missing out big time. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed quite yet either. There's a lot of you that watch these episodes that haven't subscribed. Did you know subscribing is fun? Today, I'd like to send a big shout out to my patrons, Andrew, Vincent F., and Films215. Thank you all so much for the support. And until next time, stay cool.